Hi everybody, my name is Brittany at Britsy Thrift. I'm a reseller on Poshmark and today I am back with another thrifted haul to share with you. If we look like we're wearing the same clothes as the last video, it's because it is the same day, but I figured I might as well go on and record all of it so I can focus on getting this stuff listed. So, here we go. Because I've been having so much luck with selling plus size new tag Old Navy, I decided to pick up this extra large new tag cami dress. I think the style is really pretty. I like the pink and the flowers. Just a really cute dress, what? probably between $18 and $25. And I paid $5.24 for it. Here's a new tags Banana Republic size 10. Faux suede wrap dress sleeveless. Really pretty. Color isn't quite picking up as nicely. That's probably closest. Yeah. So. But just really pretty at new tags. And since I only paid five dollars and a quarter for it, I grabbed it. It was originally $149 at the store. This is a Magashoni size large 100 percent cashmere striped sweater. I looked it over relentlessly in the store because cashmere has a tendency to have holes in it, but I did not see any holes. If I find any later, I'll just disclose it, but it was in such good condition and by having such a good fabric content. And I have sold, um, I think it was M by Magashoni. So I think Magashoni will do even better. Lululemon, so how did I spot this? Oh yeah, it's got like the little Lululemon logo on the zipper when I was going through the sweater section. And then down here at the bottom, a little hard to see, but it's this tiny white tag that's got the Lululemon logo there too. Sorry, it's not focusing as always. But this is a full zip sweater. It almost looks like the Patagonia Better sweater. She did zip it a little bit too hard and she tore a hole right there. But the good news is that when it's zipped up, you actually can't see that. So I grabbed this for $5 and a quarter. This is a size six, I believe. Yeah, I think this was a size six. Oh, I've heard about this brand only in my dreams. Did I ever imagine that I was gonna find it? I finally found it. I finally found it. Reformation. I rarely go through the skirts. I mean, sometimes I do, but I don't really expect to find anything. Then when I saw this tag sticking out, I was like, oh my gosh, it's Reformation. So this is, oh, what is it? The Ella skirt in Tommy Stripe is what it's called. And it is a size, this is a size 29. So I don't know what it's going to sell for. Sometimes I pick up stuff that's hyped up and it doesn't do well at all, but I was just so excited because I've heard so much about it and I'm like, I finally get to try it out myself. They've got like these little sewn panels here on the side. <laughs> Hi. Just don't break your neck. Then we have this Helly Hansen size large black fleece. I like it because it's just a simple black fleece, super warm. You can tell it's going to keep you really, really warm. It's like almost to the point of making you hot. Um, and it's also got the HH here. That's another way that you can spot it. So for, I don't know, I might have paid like $4.17 for it. I don't know if they charged me like the sweater price or the top price. But anyway, pretty good deal. Full zip. Here is a purple Kavu sling rope bag. I have sold this before. I have one listed that I've had listed for a long time. Probably because uh, I had it priced pretty high, but that was because the print was actually kind of interesting. It wasn't one of those ones that was like really rare, but I was trying to price it higher because the print was just so pretty. But anyway, this one I'll probably just expect regular price. I don't know. Probably price it at 40 and take 30 or something like that. Oh, this is another one that I heard of. I never found. Oh, the pluckings were so good this day. So this is called the denim. This is called denim forum. This is a button fly, and these are the Yoko high rise slim in a size 24. So I was excited to find this. I think this is something that sold at Aritzia. I'm not really sure, but gonna see how they work for me. It's just so exciting when like you hear your favorite resellers on YouTube yeah, talk about a brand over and over again and then you finally found it, you're like, oh, Rag and Bone. I miss the boat with Rag and Bone. Um, used to hear about it all the time being a bolo and by the time I started finding it, it was not a bolo anymore. However, I picked these up anyway because these are the KC High Rise Ankle Flare. So since they are a flare, 
they're a size 24. Since they're more of a flare style, I think maybe I'll have better luck with these as opposed to like the skinny ones that I've picked up and they haven't moved at all. It is a smaller size, but still, maybe the flare will help them move. I spotted this logo immediately. I was like, oh, okay, Ariat. These are really cute. They are croc embossed, brown, little boots. They do have some scuffing on the toe, as you can see there. I still think they're really, really cute, though. Yeah, I got some scuffing there. There's the logo again on the back. But Ariat is a good brand to resell, so I grabbed these. These are a U.S. size mm, seven and a half. So seven and a half. And I paid four dollars for them. Went back on another day and found some more Lululemon. There she is. Wait. Upside down. There she is. Kind of hard to spot it, but if you are used to looking for certain things and you kind of know to check. It's usually in that bottom corner. And then if you're looking for the size, it'll be like in the pocket, like a size dot that'll say six and then it'll have like some numbers around it or sometimes it won't have any numbers around it at all but this is just like a lightweight pullover half zip um and it has one pocket i usually don't like bowden but because this one was new without tag i believe and this is a size us 14r there were actually two of these but the other one looked a lot more pre-owned but i like the colors in this one better it's 100 percent linen sort of this blue turquoise pink v-neck i think maybe this will sell for like 30 to 25 dollars is about as much as i seem to be able to get for bowden but because it was so pretty and it was five dollars and a quarter i grabbed it i didn't know that this was anthropology this is called lulu marie um when i looked it up i saw it was anthropo anthropology and decided that i really didn't want to get an anthropology thing but then i kept looking at it and i was like this is just too cute this is very bohemian, kind of got this split bell sleeve patchwork thing going on. It's got the keyhole back. It's just overall really, really pretty. I like the brown and the green, and it is a maxi dress. So super pretty. I believe this is a size medium. Ooh, the fabric goes on for days and days. So I like the style enough to, to take a chance on it. I feel like every time I sell a Jams World, I end up finding another one. So not that long ago, I sold one for $40, and then here comes another one to take its place. This one's pretty cool, though. This one's an extra large. So there's the label. And it's this pretty yellow, floral, blue, and it is a midi or maxi. It's got like a flounce hem at the bottom, like a little ruffle. So I thought this was pretty nice. So I grabbed it, hopefully, another 40 bucks. Grab this out of the $2 bin with the Athletic Wear Champion size large. Only grabbed it because it is new with tag. Original price was $45. It says the men's FLC pant. I'm not sure what that is. In Oxford gray. And then it's got like the little champion. Oh, and it's also got uh, the spell out down here on the leg. So pretty cool. I saw another pair that were probably from the same person. But I could tell they used those. They were like a blue and it had some fade to it. So I just grabbed the new pair for $2. We'll definitely be able to flip these. Boots. I've seen this brand before. Emu. And I thought that it was just a, uh, a wannabe Ugg. But these are actually pretty good quality. They are... Uh, these are a size 9, I believe. It looks weird on the tag, but it says it's made of 100% merino wool lining, suede upper. Yeah, so there's what the inside looks like. I tried them on. They're extremely comfortable. It was like I was putting a pillow on my feet. So just kind of these brown, ugg-ish looking boots. But I see the comps are pretty good. I think at least like maybe 45, 50, somewhere in that range for these. And... Not a lot of wear on them, a little bit on the heel, but on the bottoms, they look great. In my heart of hearts, I told myself to put this back, but I was hungry and kind of irritated and I had been in the store for a while. So I was like, oh, just get it. Just get it. It'll sell for something. Made well, size medium, this green utility jacket. I feel like maybe I'll sit on this for a while. I think it's going to get kind of lost in the shuffle of so much Madewell that's out there. I think they have 
quite a few things that look like this that are on the market but still for five dollars and a quarter it is in my possession now and i'm gonna sell it i've never heard of this but if you could feel this dress you wouldn't know why i picked it up this is called petite studio new york and it is a size small it is a sweater dress really pretty little stripe down here sort of like patchwork asymmetrical hem but when you feel it you can feel some weight it's not just like a a, a very it's not a light sweater it's definitely like one of those quality type feelings here is another old navy plus size new tags this is a 4x and there's the tag it's just this foliage blue, kind of got like a little bit of a, I don't know what you call that. I just saw the name of it, but I can't remember it right off the top of my head. But sleeveless dress, again, probably going to get anywhere from $15 to $25 for it. Saw this at the last minute and I was like, yes, ka-ching. I've had good luck with this brand. This is called IC by Connie K and it is a size large. It's this peak or cold shoulder, peekaboo shoulder light blue bell sleeve tunic top it does have like a uh some pick some picking in the fabric just a little bit on the front there i don't know if that's going to show up but i'll disclose it i think before i was able to sell stuff for like 75 dollars, but this will probably go for a little bit lower i still think it's a really cute top i like that tassel zip there so i see by connie k look it up and add it to your bolo list this is a pretty good brand and then I found this new tag, Nilly Loden for Target, size 3X, new tag, blazer jacket. Original price was $55. I paid five and a quarter for it, so good pickup. I think I'll be able to uh, flip this pretty good. Again, paying attention to my plus size stuff, especially if it's new tags, even if it does come from Target, you know, it's still, I think it'll still sell pretty good. I like the crest buttons there nice detailing okay so that's it thank you so much for watching my haul i think my son is about to jump across the screen that's why i'm looking like that don't hurt yourself okay so anyway thank you so much for watching my haul mm -hmm. and i will see you guys in the next one see you later